How about celebrating Oktoberfest this year with three delicious recipes that all use beer? Hold on to your lederhosen because I'm gonna show you how to make pumpkin cheese beer dip, beer can chicken, and chocolate pretzel beer toffee. On Eat the Trend, we find the latest food crazes, the hottest hybrids, and the most amazing culinary creations and show you how to recreate them at home. First up is an easy appetizer. This is a delicious pumpkin fondue. Now usually when you serve fondues, you serve them with bread, but we're kicking up this recipe just a little bit. And we're serving them with sliced bratwurst. So I just bought my favorite bratwurst at the grocery store. It's already cooked. I'm just gonna let this heat up and brown a little bit while I make the dip. To start this recipe, we wanna heat up our beer. And the beer that we're using today is Harvest Pumpkin Ale. It's Blue Moon. Why not? This is seasonal. You can only get it a couple months out of the year. And what's great about this ale is that it, they also use really great spices like nutmeg, clove, and cinnamon. So it's gonna add extra flavor to the dip. So I'm just gonna put that beer into a saucepan and get it on a medium heat. While that comes to a simmer, I'm just going to toss both of my cheeses in a bowl with some flour. So we're using white cheddar cheese and Gruyere. And this cheese combo is out of this world. And I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour in here. Now, the reason why I'm adding the flour to the cheese, it just prevents lumps from forming if you were to add the flour directly to the beer. I just kinda like to coat all the cheese in it. It's really easy. Our beer has started to simmer, so I'm gonna add our cheese combo. I actually made this dip this weekend for some friends when we were watching football. It's a great game day watching dish. While that cheese is melting, I'm gonna add the rest of our ingredients. First up, the pumpkin. If you wanted to make fresh pumpkin by roasting a pumpkin, slicing it up in the oven, you could. I'm just using a half a cup of canned pumpkin. And make sure you get the pumpkin puree. Don't get the pumpkin pie mix. It's an easy mistake that you can make. So I'm just gonna keep whisking in the cheese. And then to this, I'm going to add some Worcestershire salt, really great whole grain mustard. And then finally, a little secret ingredient, something maybe you wouldn't expect, some nutmeg. Then I'm just gonna keep stirring this and cooking it until all of the cheese is melted and the dip is nice and smooth. To serve this dip, a great little tip is to core out a mini pumpkin and then serve the dip directly in the pumpkin. How cool is that? Oh, this dip is so delicious. And then all your guests gotta do is take a little piece of bratwurst, dip it in. Mmm. This dip is so good, it's like a meal in itself. Our next dish is super easy, anyone can make it. It's Guy Fieri's Beer Can Chicken. So you're gonna start by preheating your oven to 450 degrees, wash your bird in cold water and pat it dry. Now I'm gonna make a simple dry rub. It's just oregano, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, ginger, sage, salt, and pepper. Give it a little stir. And then we're just gonna rub this all over the bird. Get it inside the cavity of the bird. See the space between the meat of the chicken and the skin? Use your fingers to just kind of press that, get some pockets going, and we're actually gonna put that dry rub directly onto the chicken meat. So, this is kind of the fun part. And then let's get this side, a little massage. All right, next, for the beer. You're gonna open your can of beer. We have a nice German Pilsner, and drink half. Or pour half out. <laughs> the reason why we're doing this is so that all of the beer doesn't boil over and explode when it's being cooked. So you just wanna have about half left in the can. And then I'm just gonna put a couple smashed garlic cloves directly into that can of beer. So you get that nice garlic flavor just permeating this beer and the chicken. And then we're literally going to put our bird over the can of beer. Just like so. <laughs> He's sitting nice and pretty. We're not done yet. We are going to drape a half a pound of bacon onto this chicken. So I have found that the easiest way is just to take maybe a third of it, just stuff it down into the cavity and just drape it over. And you don't have to stop at half a pound. You could even do a pound of bacon if you wanted to, depending on the size of your bird. What's great about this dish 
is it's really simple to make, but we have so many flavors going for us. We have that dry rub with the ginger, the sage, the oregano, the pepper. Plus we have the beer, the garlic. And then this bacon is just gonna melt into the chicken and just caramelize and make it nice and crispy. And all that bacon fat is just gonna permeate the skin. So my oven's already been preheating at 450 degrees. I'm just gonna pop our chicken into there for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you're gonna lower the heat to 350 degrees and continue cooking for about 90 minutes or until the thickest part of your bird, which is usually the thigh, reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, let's cook it. Take a look at how amazing this chicken looks. You got that crispy chicken skin, the bacon's melted all on top of this. If you're feeling adventurous, this is definitely the recipe you want to try. It's crispy, moist, and super flavorful. Finally, I have a dessert idea that you can make ahead of time, and it's a great edible gift. It's chocolate pretzel beer toffee. So you're gonna start by putting your sugar and your butter into a pot and then adding a half a cup of your amber ale. What's great about this ale is it has a nice toffee flavor, a zesty bitterness, and again, we're using a great German beer. So I'm just gonna whisk this together. We wanna heat it on a high heat just until it reaches about 230 degrees. Don't forget that when you're using a candy thermometer, you don't want it to touch the bottom of the pan, so you need to get a nice accurate reading by keeping it right in the middle of your mixture. And while this is heating up, I'm just gonna measure out a half a cup of the amber ale and put it into another pot. We're just gonna let this simmer on a nice low heat. You wanna leave your sugar beer mixture untouched until it reaches 230 degrees. Then I'm gonna whisk it continuously until it reaches 290 degrees or until it starts to thicken and darken up. I'm gonna take it off the heat and pour it directly into our baking sheet that I've lined with parchment paper. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. So that's our first layer of our chocolate beer pretzel toffee. Now over here I had that warm beer simmering. I'm just gonna pour it over our chocolate chips and give it a good stir. This is just gonna help melt our chocolate. The chocolate that we're using is 60% cacao. This is really important so that the chocolate melts nice and smooth. And as you can see, you just wanna continue folding that warm beer into the chocolate just to break it up until it's nice and smooth. All right, now that our beer and chocolate is nice and mixed, I'm just gonna pour it over our toffee. Oh my God, look at this. And then use your spatula to just smooth it out. And then finally, crushed pretzels right on top. How delicious does this look? Man, this toffee is out of this world. Mmm. It is so good. You really get that bitterness from the beer, but it balances really nice with the smooth, creamy chocolate and the salty pretzels. As you can see, cooking with beer is so much fun. We got an appetizer, an entree, and even a dessert. Make all three the next time you host an Oktoberfest party or any time of the year. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Sugar Food. And I would love to know the ways you cook with beer in the comment box below. I'm Brandy, and I'll see you next time we eat the trend on Pop Sugar.